Hello, I'm Devora Tucker, and I am going to start out with the Arab Rosh Hashanah service and just show you some of the things that I can do. I don't know if you like to use instruments, so I decided to sit at my piano and do this. Um, that way I can kind of give you an idea of what it would sound like with instruments, but I also think I will do some of it a cappella so you can see what that is also like um, for maybe a more traditional feel and uh, I'm open to anything that you want. One of the things I like to do with the new sock at, um, at the Arab Rosh Hashanah service is to have the congregation hum along with it as people are doing readings, things like that. So, um, so that's something that I would recommend doing. It keeps people involved and because the new sock is something that people only hear once a year for some people that's when that's the new sock that they know the most because that's when they go to services but for people who go on a weekly basis they're much more used to the Shabbat new sock and so it, it can be a little bit of an adjustment for them and I think doing that um, a lot in this service really helps them to get to get comfortable with it and get into that shift away from the Shabbat Nusach and into um, more of the high holiday stuff. So one of the things that I have done and I really like and people seem to like it is I wrote a variation of the Nusach and I wrote it to Pete Puli and that's on page 50 right right when uh, everything kind of starts. So that's on the top of page 50. So what I think I'll do right now is I will play some of the new sock for you. I'll sing that and then I'll go up to the Shema in the service and that's what I'll show you. If you want to see something else, you are really interested in seeing a different part of the high holiday services. If you want Kol Nidre, I can do that for you. I just, uh, I'm, I'm just giving this to you as a, an introduction and then anything else you want to see me do, I'm happy to make another video for you, but I also don't want to give you so much that it takes up a lot of your time. All right, here we go. I'm, I'll sing it uh, a cappella at first, and then I'll kind of go into some piano playing with it so you get a good feel for it. page 54 there's Sati Katamar and I think a version of this that goes really well with the new sock is the Zadi Katamari Frahi Frah Zadi Katamari Frah 
Sadiq hat im Mardi frach, ich frag, Sadiq hat im Mardi frach. Geheretz bal wann nun hieß ge, Geheretz bal wann nun hieß ge, Geheretz bal wann nun hieß ge, hieß ge. So that one is nice because um, I think that you can actually get it going too, so that not everything is uh, the slow thing. Uh, I want to have something a little bit more upbeat. And I think a lot of people really know that version. It's the, that's the Israeli folk version. Uh, the other version that actually goes well with the new sock is, uh, is a little bit lower energy. But depending on kind of what we want to do that evening, it might fit better. So that's the Tzadik HaTamad Yifrach Geretz Balvanon so we could do that one as well. Uh, we could even maybe go back and forth into them. There are ways to do that. So it, it would be whatever your preference would be, and we could talk about that. Those are the two that I know really well, but if you know a different one, um, I think it's a great liturgy for it, though. And then we can turn to page 61 for the Barhu. So after we sing that, maybe do some of the new sock with some of the... Uh, the readings, we would get to the Barhu and I would again start into the the new sock here. <laughs> So once that's done, we would turn to page 66 and, uh, and start this part. Um, this is right before Ahavat Olam. And so the option is to do this part, the Uma Viryom, um, do Ahavat Olam to that. But I kind of like the Debbie Friedman Ahavat Olam. So I'll do that for you. Uma Viryom, Ume Vilayla, Uma Vdil Ben Yom, Um Ben Layla, Adonai Tzabahot Shemo. El chai v'chayam, tamid imloch alenu, le'olam v'ahed. Baruch atah Adonai, hama'adi v'aravim. Ahavat olam. Bet Yisrael, Utanu le marita Alakena no nai Elu henu bishok benu Ufku menu nasiak beku keha Venis mak bedi vritor teha Uf mits foteha le lam fahed Ki hem chayenu we can repeat that a couple of times, uh, just depending on how they seem, the congregation seems to be into it. Most of them will probably know it, so it might be a place to kind of dwell in the service, but but we'll play it by ear. And then uh, we get to page 
um, 74. Another thing to do uh, and after the song ends, um, we would end that and maybe do a nice reading at this point to get back into the new sock a bit. Um, da 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 Ya da 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 The Eternal's my lamp and light and help. Who then should I fear? Bless us, my soul, the bountiful one, eternal one, my God, magnificent are you. Or we can hum that and, and people do readings. And then we get to the Shema and um, a version that I know of this from the RRC website is um, Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. But Jack Kessler taught us a different one in my Nusak class, and uh, it's more of the um, Ya da 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 Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. So it's it's whatever they are are comfortable with. Maybe you have one that you prefer. Just something in that new sock, um, and that's that's pretty much it up to the Shema. Let me know if you want to see anything else, and I'd be more than happy to do another video for you. I hope you like what I gave you, and uh, I hope to, to hear from you. Thanks a lot.